you know what? We aren't legally obliged to pay the EU a bloody penny when we leave the EU, if we actually do ever leave. According to the upper house, you know the one, the one where they get £300 a day to fall asleep on the red leather pews. The house where all the establishment hacks get sent after they've served the establishment so well that they get rewarded with free everything. The house of snores. I mean lords. Well in 2017 they said that we aren't legally obliged to pay the EU scumbags a fucking penny when we leave the EU. So why are we? Are we that rich as a company that we can just throw away 39 billion, even when we have no obligation to do so? Who would do this? It's like the 13.9 billion we sent in foreign aid last year. Why are we sending this money to dictators overseas to buy private jets, cars and to fund their drug running? Why do we do that? It's claimed that we're actually the fifth richest country in the world. So are we that rich that we can honestly throw away 39 billion to the EU when we don't have to? And we can also send 13.9 billion overseas every year to countries that have space programs for God's sake. Do you feel that rich? Do you feel like you live in the fifth richest country on the planet? Or plane? But that's another question. We hear recently that there are over 400,000 more children in poverty and 300,000 more pensioners in poverty than four or five years ago. We hear that this year there'll be over 1.5 million food bank parcels being given out just so people can stay alive and eat this Christmas. It's estimated that over 4,700 people bedded down outside overnight in 2017, which was up 15% from the previous year. I bet the figures are even bigger this year. We all know our schools are massively underfunded, social care is massively underfunded, the NHS is at breaking point, and yet we're going to needlessly give the EU £39 billion, and for what? I bet you the majority of that will go on scumbags, pension pots, people that have served the EU agenda really well and managed to remove countries' sovereignties without their population knowing. As an aside, with the transition period etc, that figure of 39 billion could be as much as 50 billion. And when we stay tied to the EU for decades, because that's what's going to happen under May's woeful deal, that figure will be 10 billion plus a year. Every year. Just like we never left at all, eh? When are we going to realise that politicians do not give a toss about the population unless it's election time? I've been hearing loads recently about how MPs will vote on May's awful deal. The commentators aren't saying things like, well, the people don't want this and that, so they should vote it down, blah, blah, blah. They're saying things like, well, so-and-so MP will be thinking about their career and how to vote. Bollocks to that. Nobody wants this deal. We voted out. Let's fucking leave. The only Brexiteer I can think of that will support May's treasonous deal is the new Brexit secretary, Stephen Barkley, and he's clearly doing it for his own ends, clearly doing it for his own career, May picks this no mark out of complete obscurity and says, there you go son, go out and sell this and you'll be a major part of my government going forward. So despite this not even being Brexit in name only, it's worse than that. He trots off telling everyone how shiny his turd actually is. What a sellout! What a disgrace of a man! And geez, he needs to stop laughing so much. <laughs> this is a kind of serious point, no? This is not. I'm not. Please <laughs> <laughs>
that, that I, as a Brexit tailor, say that it, it shows that's not the case. He's public face or something that no Brexiteer likes apart from you. But as the kind of honorary Brexiteer she's sending out to pretend the only Brexiteer on the entire planet. Tart Blitz. What is your principle? We don't call you the relevant community. The e the word in x -ray. That's not Brexit. <laughs> Could you let me get the word in x -ray? <laughs> Do they feel incapable of saying this is a good plan when she loses the vote in Parliament?